Password. Plants. Go right on it. Sir, you go. How do you get the slicker? Well, it's quite a story, actually. Well, it all starts overseas. Large ships filled with alcohol from places like the Bahamas, Cuba, and a few of the French islands sail to America. They then wait about three miles away from the coast to escape U.S. jurisdiction. As they wait, smaller contact boats rush to pick up the cargo. These contact boats then carry the cases all the way back to the coast. The contact boats are built for speed and are able to outmaneuver any police that chase them along the way. Once they reach their destination, they load up the bootlegged alcohol into a waiting truck. Two hours later. Delivery. Thank you. Wow, that is quite a story. This tastes different. Damn, bootlegger ripped me off. You know it's common for bootleggers to just wash down water in each drink. This probably isn't even what it says to me. They just relabel bottles and sell it for twice the profit. Oh, so that's why it tastes different. Well, there's a guy who doesn't do that. Do you know him? No, I haven't heard. His name's The Real McCoy. He's famous for never relabeling any of his bottles and he never washes down any of his drinks. On his first trip, he once carried over 1,500 crates of alcohol into New York. It was the biggest cargo ever delivered at the time. The river they took to get to New York is now known as the famous Rum Road. It sees as many as 60 ships at a time carrying tons of cargo of alcohol. Starting to feel sick, man. You wouldn't be surprised if you're drinking poison. I couldn't care less, as long as I'm getting drunk. Well, the government poisons industrial alcohol with mercury and zinc, then bootleggers take it and make the liquor that you're drinking right now. So am I gonna die? Well, you might die. I don't know, I can't really tell you that. But uh, by 1926, there was about 1,200 people in the hospital from alcohol poisoning because of the government. And then about 400 people died. And then the next year rose to 700 deaths. I think it'll be fine. One hour later. It'll be fine. 